Lancaster, California. Squealing tires, wailing sirens, and the thunder of chopper blades invade a peaceful high desert community. California Highway Patrol units are in pursuit. These are two suspected house burglars in the vehicle, and we also understand the vehicle may be stolen. Okay, he's going into a dead end street. So I don't know where they're going to go here. They continue off road. A frightened child playing on a bicycle scrambles to get out of the way. It appears that they've got an air compressor in the back. It's now being bounced around like a toy. Uh, it's a good thing there's not a person back there. Oh, okay, they're back on the street. They race toward an intersection. The light is red. They're going to run this red. Uh, there's a car there. Oh, my God. They just got hit. T-bone accident. Uh, unbelievable. They're still going. A pregnant woman never sees the oncoming thieves. She and her unborn child are all right. But officers realize that the suspects are now headed back toward the residential area. They have to shut these guys down and fast. Okay, suspects are going to do a left turn here. CHP from behind. Oh, they pushed the truck from behind. Wait a minute, it didn't work. They got across anyway. A CHP unit tries to force the truck into a fishtail spin. The driver holds steady and somehow steers out of it. But the truck's left front tire is now damaged. It disintegrates and pieces of rubber go flying. Okay, he's turning right. He's turning right. He can't get any traction. He's going off the road. And he stalled. Wait, wait. Okay, the, he seems to be stuck on some kind of a wire. Passenger foot bail. He's running. The truck is free. Oh, unbelievable. He jumped back into the moving truck. The truck gets caught on a support wire for the telephone pole. As the driver desperately tries to get free, his partner runs off. Every man for himself. But as soon as the truck gets free, he gladly gets back on board. What he does next is unbelievable. Okay, he appears he's, he's reaching up into the passenger side door. He's standing, oh my God, he's actually trying to get back inside the truck. And he did, he did it, he's in. Knowing the stolen compressor could crush a limb, he carefully maneuvers back towards the cab at 65 miles an hour. It's amazing that these guys are able to keep going. That left front tire is just shredded. You can see it's just completely gone. Back on pavement, the suspects again head toward town. Knowing how vulnerable the truck is, officers waste no time trying to end this chase. The truck is hit again, and it's still going. Here comes CHP. CHP, the tire is completely off now. They're pushing the truck sideways down the street. They are not going to let these guys go. Wait, foot bail. Foot bail. Same suspect, now running. Running from the scene. Another unit speeds up to catch the fleeing suspect. The man leaps at the wall, hurling himself over. These officers are right behind him. Over the wall, suspect cutting through these yards. Another wall now. He's over that one. Here comes an officer. It's like an obstacle course. Okay, another wall. And okay, here's a plainclothes officer. Almost didn't make it. Suspect now behind a garage. There he is. Okay. Uh, he's still running, jumping over a wire. He falls. He's falling. Officer hung up on the wire fence. He's given up. He's had enough. His face is now in the dirt. Spread eagle, code four. This case is over. Both suspects are local natives of this small desert town. But in one day's work, they managed to rack up some very big time charges, including burglary, grand theft auto, and felony hit and run. The chase lasted almost two hours. And though they risked their lives over and over, these homeboys didn't get too far. Ironically, they were captured less than three blocks from where this chase began.